Welcome back to the Armchair Meddler, where I review news videos usually of a sensational nature, and I give you my opinion, even though you didn't ask for my opinion. That's what makes me the Armchair Meddler. So today we're going to take a look at a uh, news video where apparently this Olympic medalist, I believe she plays volleyball, was attacked on the street for no reason by, I guess, some vagrant. But let's not delay. Let's get into this video crisis in L.A. Former U.S. Olympic volleyball player Kim Glass was allegedly attacked by a homeless person who hurled a metal bolt into her face. She shared a video showing her painful looking injuries. Coco McAvoy joining us live with more Coco. Good evening. Kim Glass has serious injuries and the man responsible for the alleged attack was already on parole for an assault with a deadly weapon charge from December. Okay. So already this story is annoying me because apparently uh, this man who attacked this woman was already on parole for assault with a deadly weapon. And now, as you'll see later in the story, he assaults someone else uh, with a deadly weapon. So this is just very frustrating already uh, to hear this. But let's continue on. I do have... Um, multiple fractures up here and a small one here. Okay, so I just want to say right now that for me, uh, this is already very painful to watch this. Uh, to see the, the injury that this young lady, beautiful young lady, has to her face. This is, uh, this is just horrible to watch. Let's continue. Medalist Kim Glass battered and bruised after she says she was attacked in broad daylight, leaving a lunch date on Olive and 8th Street downtown this past weekend. So Video taken by a witness shows the grisly aftermath. This homeless man ran up. Um, he had something in his hand. And Glass says she turned to tell her friend goodbye, and then... Before I knew it, a big metal bolt, like pipe... Hit me in. The man. Okay, so apparently this attack was completely unprovoked. Just a random attack for no reason, which is just so disturbing. Uh, it just shows you have to keep your wits about you at all times because you just don't know when something like uh, this will happen. It shouldn't be that way, but unfortunately it is. 51 year old who is homeless allegedly threw the bolt to glass in an unprovoked attack, striking her in the face. That homeless uh, arrestee, um, some mental issues, I'm sure. Captain Elaine Morales says witnesses chased the suspect down and held him until police arrived to arrest him. Okay, so I just want to applaud uh, the Good Samaritans, the ones who jumped in. And didn't just stand there. They jumped in, took action, and took this guy down. Because uh, this guy uh, need, needed to be caught. He needs to be locked up. Obviously, he needs like a psychiatric evaluation. Uh, something needs to be done. Uh, this man should not, should not have been out uh, in the first place. Because apparently, this is his second, his second time being charged with assault with a deadly weapon. But uh, very disturbing. Let's continue. The suspect's first charge. He is, was out on parole for an unrelated assault with a deadly weapon charge back in December. The heinous crime prompting responses from L.A. mayoral candidates, Congresswoman Karen Bass and billionaire developer Rick Caruso. Bass tweeting, quote, This is a despicable act of violence that has no place in our city. People who commit heinous crimes like these must be held accountable. My number one job as mayor will be to keep Angelino safe. Caruso spoke on our 7 p.m. special report about his plan to curb violence. I have a very clear plan. If you go to carusocan.com, I've talked about it during the primary, of adding more officers, having a community-based police force. I've done it before as the police commissioner in reducing crime. And of course we have to hold pe people accountable. Homeless advocate Andy Bales says these violent crimes have become all too common. The sad thing, it, it, it doesn't just happen to beautiful, uh, wonderful Olympians who are well known. It happens every day to uh, the average person. Okay, so I just have to stop it right there because he says it's a sad thing. This doesn't just happen to beautiful, 
beautiful, I think he said models, Olympians, whatever. So I just think that's odd that he says that. So is he just saying that ordinary people with ordinary looks, they're at risk too? Is that what he's saying? So if you're not good looking, hey, you got to watch out too. I, I just found out to be interesting that he said that. Let's continue. And it happens even most of all to other homeless people. And he says solving the problem must include a mental health approach along with affordable housing. All of us uh, need to realize that our city has... Okay, how about a sanitarium? How, how about a psychiatric ward? Okay, he's talking about the affordable housing. Uh, this dude, affordable housing wouldn't have fixed what was in, what's in this guy's head. The guy needs to be in a psychiatric ward, okay, uh, until he's cured of what's wrong with him. Let's continue. Dangerous because of the way that we have not responded to the needs of people on the streets. And the suspect was booked with a felony and was given no bail. And Kim Glass says she's recovering physically and has a great support system. Reporting live this evening. Okay, so I just want to say that I hope that that uh, young lady, that she's going to be okay. I mean, that I, oh, it just looked horrendous, the uh, the injury to her eye. That was just, that was awful. I've, I've watched a lot of boxing in the past, and that was far worse than anything I've seen uh, in a boxing ring or a, or an MMA ma match. That was just awful. So hopefully, like I said, she's going to be okay. This guy, hopefully they lock him up, they, they shrink his head because what I mean by that is do the psychiatric evaluation because this guy needs, he needs help. Uh, there's something mentally wrong with this guy. Uh, psychiatric hospitals and wards need to be reopened uh, in this country because these people, they, they need to be locked up. I'm talking about the ones who have a uh, mental illness. They need to be locked up and they need to be treated for their mental illness they can't just be allowed to to live out on the street and just randomly attack people i'm not saying that everyone with mental illness that they do that but these people they do clearly need help so uh so yeah that's going to wrap up this episode of the armchair meddler uh if you're not subscribed please subscribe make sure your notification bell is on because more videos are coming soon also if you haven't already make sure to press the like button on this video uh, more videos are coming soon. Peace.